there. Today you're working on a map scaling worksheet. And when you're scaling, you're using a larger or smaller object or version of something in the real world. And today we're using a map to represent an actual town. So it's a smaller version of the town. And we're gonna use this map to answer the questions below, right here. So let's take a look at the directions. The directions say, Axel had to spend one week at his grandmother's house. Below is a map of the town. Use the scale to answer the distance questions below. And here's the scale where it says one square equals 800 feet. So one of these squares equals 800 feet. And then it says all answers should be in feet. By the way, this is a level one worksheet. So all we have to do is keep things in feet. Even though there might be a lot, we don't have to convert them into miles. So it makes the worksheet a little easier. Well, let's take a look at the problems. By the way, I think I want to start off at day two here because there's a little confusion on some of the problems. So instead of starting day one, you can do day one. I'll go over day two first with you, and then you can try to do some of the other ones, and then we'll come back and check your answers. Let's look at day two. He went to watch a movie and stopped at the burger restaurant and pet shop on the way. Including the stops, how far did he travel to get to the movie theater from the house? So first off, we've got to find Grandma's house. Oh, there's Grandma's house right there. So he is going to walk to the burger shop first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he went nine squares. He walks into the burger shop, orders a burger, some fries, and a drink. Then he walks back out. So you've got to count this square right here again because he's coming back out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he walks into the pet shop. He plays with the puppies, holds a couple kitty cats, and then he says goodbye and heads off to the movie theater. So now we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He walks in and he enjoys the movie. So he went eight there. So if we add all this up, nine plus seven is 16 plus eight is 24. So he went 24 squares. And it says right here that one square equals 800 feet. So what we need to do is take this 24 and times it by 800. Four times zero is zero, four times zero is zero, four times eight is 32. Let me change the color, add a placeholder right here. Two times zero is zero, two times zero is zero, two times eight is 16. Then we add this up together and we get zero, zero, two, nine, one. So that is 19,200 feet. So we write 19,200 feet right there for day two. So now you see why I did day two. I wanted to explain this part about him walking into the burger shop and walking back out, walking into the pet shop and walking back out. So those squares count as two when you're coming back and forth. All right, since I explained that, hopefully we'll get kind of the same answers. So I want you to try day one and day three on your own. When you're finished, come back to me and we'll go over the answers. If you find this too easy and you don't need my help, you don't have to listen to me. Do the worksheet on your own. I'm here to help the people who need help. So try day one and day three. If you need my help, come back and we will go over the answers. See you in a bit. All right, welcome back. We are doing day one. His grandma picked him up from the airport. How far is the airport from her house? So we gotta find the airport, which is right here. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we go ten squares. And again, each square equals 800 feet. 
So all we do is 10 times 800, which is really simple. We're multiplying anything by 10. We can just add a zero. So we write 800 and add a zero. So this will be 8,000 feet. Day three, let me read this. He decided to go climb Cousin Fred's treehouse, which is located on H Street. So we find H Street. Let me clean this up really quick so we don't get confused. We find H Street, which is right there. How far is the treehouse from Grandma's house? So again, we start off at Grandma's house. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then he goes to climb the tree, woohoo, and he plays in the treehouse. So we win eleven squares, and each square equals 800 feet. So we need to times by 11. Now let's stop there for a second. Some of you might be thinking, why do you care about these zeros right here? All you have to do is put them back in when you're done. So basically, all we have to do is 8 times 11, which is 88, and then we just put back in two zeros, 1, 2, and we're done. So from now on, when we're multiplying, when we have these zeros at the end on this worksheet, we don't have to worry about them. Just put them in at the end. So he walked 8,800 feet. Okay, so we went over day one, day two, and day three. Why don't you give day four, day five, and day six a try? When you're finished, come back to me, and we will check your answers. See you in a bit. Welcome back. We're doing day four, and it says he helped Uncle Frank on his farm and spent the night. The entrance to the farm is located on J Street. So we have to find J Street. Oh, there's J Street right there. So there's the entrance to the farm. How far did he travel to get there? Again, he's leaving from his grandma's house. And as we can see, he can go different directions. He can go this way, he can go this way, he can go this way. So he has different choices here to travel. I think going down E Street might be faster. Or maybe we can go down to H Street, around 2nd Avenue to G Street. Let's try that one. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. And then he goes into the farm to help Uncle Frank. So he went twenty-six squares, and we're going to time zap by eight hundred, but we don't have to worry about the two zeros, so all we do is 8 times 26. And 8 times 6 is 48, carry the 4. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. So we write 2, 0, 8, and then we add two zeros. So basically it's 20,800 feet he had to walk to get to Uncle Frank's farm. Day 5. One of Uncle Frank's ducks bit Axel. Oh, wow, those killer ducks. He walked to the hospital to get a tetanus shot and then walked home. A tetanus shot is so he doesn't get an infection. So he walked to the hospital to get a tetanus shot and then walked home. Including the stop at the hospital, what was the actual distance he traveled? So let me clean this up really quick. We need to leave from the farm which is right here. Let me get those two right there. Then he walked to the hospital, which is right here. And then he walked back to his grandma's house. That's what the directions say, right? He says, one of Uncle Frank's ducks bit Axel. He walked to the hospital to get a tetanus shot and then walked home. So we have to count all those spaces or all those squares. So let's start off. I think the best way is to go down J Street. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So he walked 21 squares to get to the hospital. He goes in the hospital. The nurse gives him a shot. Ouch, that hurt! Then he walks back home. So we had 21, then we start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So he walked another 24 squares. And 21 plus 24 is 45 squares total. So we take that 45 squares and we multiply it by 800, but we're just gonna do eight times 45 to save us some time. And eight times five is 40, carry the four. And eight times four is 32, plus four is 36. Then we just add two zeros, which becomes 36,000 feet. 36,000 feet. Day six, it says he decided to go visit the local castle located on 6th Street. How far is the entrance of the castle from the house? So let me clean this up really quick so we have no confusion. By the way, when you're working on this, if I'm going too fast or maybe I'm erasing too quickly, you can always press pause or you can rewind and see the video again. That's the great thing about having a video. You can pause and go as slow as you want or maybe you don't even have to listen to me. All right, so you walk to the castle and the castle is right here. So we need to find where we're gonna go. There's different routes again. You can go different directions. I think I'm gonna go the same way as I went to the farm. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Uh, maybe not. I think maybe I should go down E Street. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So he went 28 squares. Now, if you went a different way and maybe your distance was a little longer, that's okay, that's perfectly fine, as long as you calculate the correct feet. That's the whole idea. So there's really no correct way. It did not say in the directions, go the shortest distance. Just don't get crazy and go around the whole town. That'd be more work for you. So I said 28 squares. Take that 28 squares and multiply it by 800. But I'm not gonna worry about the 800. I'm just gonna do eight times 28. And eight times eight is 64, carry the six. Eight times two is 16, plus six is 22. And then I add two zeros, which makes 22,400 feet. Why don't you finish up with day seven and day eight? When you get the answers, come back to me and we will check your answers. I will see you in a bit. Welcome back. We are almost done. We are doing day seven. Day seven, he went to the park to play football with some local kids. What is the distance from the house to the park? So we need to find the park, which is right over here, close to 4th Avenue and B Street. And we start off at grandmother's house. So let me change that color. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then he plays at the park. So he went 18 squares, and we're gonna times that by 800, but we're not gonna worry about the two zeros, so we just say eight times 18, and eight times eight is 64, we carry the six. Eight times one is eight, plus six is 14. Add two zeros, we get 14,400 feet. So I'm gonna put 14,400 feet right here, 
You notice how I always label my answer? So I'm just using feet, so we make sure we label all our answers. Feet day eight. Let me clean this up really quick before we start day eight. Day eight says, on the way to the airport, so he's heading back home from his grandmother's house. His grandmother's like, please don't leave, I'll miss you, Axel. Axel's like, I'll miss you too, grandmother, but I'll see you back soon. So on the way to the airport, his grandmother took Axel to the donut shop for a pre-flight snack. Including the donut stop, how far did they travel to the airport? So we need to find the donut shop. Oh, there's the donut shop right there. We're leaving from grandmother's house and we're ending up at the airport. So let's get started. I think I'm gonna go down E Street. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I passed the fire department. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 squares to the donut shop. Him and his grandmother walk in, they order a dozen donuts, yum, yum, yum. And then they head to the airport. I think I'm gonna go back the same way to get to the airport. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 squares, Axel saying, bye bye grandmother. And grandmother's like, bye bye Axel, see you soon. So we total that up, we get 35 squares and we're gonna multiply that by 800, but I don't care about the two zeros, so I'm just gonna say eight times 35. Eight times five is 40, I'm gonna carry the four. Eight times three is 24, plus four is 28. Add back the two zeros, and I will get 28,000 feet that he had to go to get to the donut shop and then to the airport to say goodbye to his grandmother and head back home. All right, well, we are done with the worksheet. I hope I help, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for your support. See you next time.